first things first. Hi. Ooh. How you Hi. doing? Hi. Um, welcome back. Jolt, give me a recap of last week's session. Yeah. Gigantic spider baboons everywhere. Why do I always ask you to do this when you always give it <laughs> just the perfect, beautiful, wonderful version of events? Now, we uh, we found the, uh, the Blender Lab. We... Uh... I passed this place with these creepy long armed things that only half the party saw. The Mister. Uh, they looked a lot like chokers from D and D, but I don't think they worked. Um, we came to the, uh, the elevator room, which was upstairs of where we are now, and there was a sleeping giant sloth looking thing. Yeah, yeah. A triage snuck up to it with a tranquilizer gun to make sure it stayed asleep. You gave it three and shots. It, yeah, it somehow didn't backfire. Because <laughs> um, that would have been horrible. Or great. Or great, yeah. yeah for everyone else. And, uh, yeah, then we came downstairs, found a whole bunch of giant spidery corpses and these arachnaboons. Yeah, you guys found this large uh, chamber that just descends down into the depths. It's kind of like a a missile, you know, silo, and in the middle is this large um, tower column, and then there were three bridges, re uh, three catwalk-style bridges, re or four reaching to the center, but you guys have found that there is a damaged one to the north, and as you were about to try to make the jump, or at least consider it, actually, you guys were talking about making something to be able to bridge it, and as Triage took one fateful step forward, he was arachna jumped by an arachna boon who webbed him. And he at this slimed me. He slimed you. And at this point, initiative, please. All right. All right. <clears throat> giggity, giggity. All right. So appropriately so. Triage. <clears throat> Triage just got slimed. <clears throat> and uh, he is going to go full panic and spin around and shoot at the thing that just webbed him, assuming he can see it. All right. You can That's see part of it's holding on to the side of this thing. It's clutching to the... Uh, it's clutching to the outer edge of, uh, you know, kind of with its, with all of its tentacle, uh, I mean, uh, arachno arms. And go ahead and do that. All right. I'm going to fire a pair of double taps at it. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh. No, it's bueno. Are you sure you didn't get the that D twenty covered in? Uh, Did you pick up chaos dice? Oh, <laughs> I think I may have. Um, now, am I in? Like, am I stuck in webs here? You are stuck in webs here. Then I am not going to take a five foot step out of here. <laughs> Fatal. Oh, and I scream like a girl. Of course. Would that mean you were bad. entangled? Be entangled, yes. Let us move freely. So, Fatal, you we need to get you to move f freely here. Uh, let me yeah, uh, turn, let me activate that. Apparently, it locks things up between game sessions. Interesting. That's a good thing. I like get there and then do a double tap with the uh, 50 cal. Nice. Flanky, I like it. Tactics. Yeah, what's my bonus here? It's a um, th two. two. Yeesh. All right, did everybody pick up my dice? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we know their AC is above a 17. All right. We, we uh... used it already, though, right? So, so Jace, this this like black area around us is that like walls? Or that, is that is just walls. wide open? Okay. All right. In that case, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, 
five, six, past fatal. And turn my happy ass to look at the god awful monster and shoot it. Let's see here. Come on. Oh, there was. I see that now. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. It's going to be sessions. Carry on. <laughs> Apparently we're all awful today. Did you do your plus two? I would have Did you get two attacks? No, I moved. Oh, that makes sense. We're all waiting in suspense. Oh god damn it. Surprise! <laughs> So, <clears throat> the Arachnaboon is going to <clears throat> attack triage with a claw Why? and a bite. <laughs> All right. That was lucky. Yeah. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was lucky. Um, <laughs> bastard. All right, well... <laughs> How, wait, huh? I'm sure we've got the one hit, and then the second attack was a miss. So we got one of the claws attacked, right? Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Do, do, do. Ooh, that's not the thing I wanted to do. It just attacked itself? Don't do that. Silly <laughs> <creature>. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We're okay with it. Yeah. The oh. die has been cast. <laughs> it's got so many arms, it doesn't know what it's doing with them all. Mm. All right, so that thing, there we go. Ow. Dead hand. Hi. You're in this hallway. You're uh, hearing yeah, some yeah. action happening from the other side, and here we are in this portcullis that has two bars missing, thanks to a little bit of acid action. Yes. Uh, guess I gotta go save my friends again. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move. Uh, probably take. Hold on. Six. Double you're move. On, you're in. You're on a uh, corner. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna rub it out. I'm trying to count. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, I move. Double move here. And I saw the one on the bottom as I walked through. Mm -hmm. And so he's gonna be my main target, but I can't do anything. That's my turn. Well, okay. And try hard. Okay. That's the wrong universe. <laughs> Is it though? Is That's... it though? Duh. Um... Duh. Duh. Try hard. It's your turn. Okay, Dirk Blockhead. Durr. Um, this thing's going to get an attack of opportunity on me when I attack. So, I'm going to attack. Hey, there we go. He found his dice. He found his and dice. Attack. Damn. Oh, one hit. And the attack of opportunity. Oof. And slash with its spider-like claws. <clears throat> oh, that's not cool. That's five feels cool. Damn, son. I thought you guys said these things were easy. That's brutal. To be fair, we we hit them before they could do anything the last time. <laughs> told you guys talking all this smack he's all taking notes all right i didn't, I didn't change nothing <laughs> i know you didn't change nothing but you're like all right let me make these guys a little smarter <laughs> no we into the config settings and make sure our dice kit roll above a uh, 15 <laughs> mm. all right i'm gonna do a staggering shot for more damage on this guy okay see if i hit though Oh, good oh, job. Man. It looked like it was stuck on the floor for I, a second. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Oh, 
Nice. Also, Bye -bye, thank you. Spider bubble. <laughs> and then I reload. <laughs> Man, that must be so freaking loud in that space as that shot just... Oh. All right. Tonight is all over the place. Peripheral yeah. Vision says, hey, there's another god-awful monkey monster right over there. God-awful monkey monster. All right, let's start off a little bit simpler here. Uh, that's a side flank, right? Uh, yep. Plus one. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and burst fire for the second. Uh, nice. Plus one. Hey! Oh, that was burst fire. I wasn't even double tap. <laughs> so much damage. I meant to do a double tap, and then. And then I roll like crap on my 4d6. All right. <laughs> I like this burst fire. You need to do more of that. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> All righty. This thing's mighty unhappy with you. Oh, that's good. Good for it. Tough rocks. Oh, I love it when they disappear from my line of sight. <laughs> and can it identify which of... Of course, I can identify which of you just shot it because you're looking at it. <laughs> All right. Take the damage. Slash and miss from the Fantastic. angry arachnaboon. The medium armor, man. Shit's coming through. <laughs> It has a habit of doing that. Deed hand. Okay, I can see it from where I'm standing. So I'm going to screw it. Uh, where's my actions? How much? Already fired twice. I'll give you a plus one, one on that for your placement towards him. Sweet. Plus one, I'll take it. So I'm going to double tap it. Blah, blah. Come on, double tap. I don't have a big bonus on this. But hey, that's good. Yeah. And then... And it rolled high. Nice. It's realized it's not going to cover, but I'm not going to count it against you now that it's been done. Oh, well, okay. Fair enough. So, yeah. <laughs> 26 plus 8. Uh, yeah, I would have probably still hit it, even if it wasn't covered. All right. Well, I take my next action to reload. <laughs> and uh, the, the two opposing forces have been blasted and fallen bloodily into the spiderweb layer below, where the <gasps> entire web itself just sort of tremors and, and, and waves slowly like a, a, a wispy sort of trampoline, and then it comes to a halt. And uh, triage, you find yourself uh, engaged in a variety of web that this thing uh, had somehow spun out of two of its um, spider-like arms that had come over its back. <clears throat> Lovely. So you're gonna I'm going to try to cut myself loose with my uh, knife. Okay. Uh, it's easy to do that. So go, just give me a roll of a damage, uh, 1d4, and, and plus your strength in, in the freaking chat window oh, i just got a trench knife which does a d6 so okay there you go you're able to cut through that it seems a little bit stronger than normal no. web but it's uh also not normal web as it came from some sort of monkey creature yeah i was gonna say is it like baboon strong mm, you know so, looking down at the way they fell, yeah, did the web kind of slow their fall? Uh, the web uh, caught them, and they got caught in the bottom. Uh, not the well, it got caught in one of the layers of webbing down after it fell through a couple of layers. It got stuck, and uh, so somewhere between the ground and the bottom. Oh, 
than a really bad idea. No. I'm going to use some rope to <laughs> make a grapple. Oh, I'm just going to rope. What? Um, so I've got my climbing harness on. I got rope. I've got rope as well. I yeah, got I'm gonna, rope. I'm going to hook up uh, the end of the rope with a carabiner to like a solid railing here. And um, this is about, what, 15 feet across? Yep. I was just going to throw a grapple, but OK. <laughs> Yeah, that, that'll help. I can use that for sure. So you uh, throw the grapple first. Okay. I need to make something to pour this grapple real quick. Is there, like, just wrought iron stuff sticking around? You Chase? you have the two orange bars that represent the, uh, the like, you know, they are the handles. What is that? Railing. That's what that word is. And the railing has, uh, it has you know, stuff that you can wrap around. Like the little posts that hold it up in the air, little metal things. You can certainly grapple to those. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my handcuffs as like a grapple arm just because it's faster and I don't have to craft anything. And uh, I don't know if I'm the best at throwing, but I'll try it. <laughs> okay. Is that a ranged attack? That is going to be a ranged going? attack. Um, it's going to be a 10 to hit, but you are going to be operating at a minus one. So what is that, a minus four? Because you're doing double, uh, like a 10 foot is, is a standard throwing range. Minus four ranged attack. Here we go. I'll give you some space. Nice. <laughs> All right. Now you want to uh, see if it, it holds on. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm going to check it, obviously. <laughs> I'm not going over this thing without me knowing. Yeah, it seems seems pretty good. Oh, I thought 66. Yeah, okay. fell into the positive. Looks positive. <laughs> and I go, I, I show him, I show uh, triage, I give him like a wave gest gesture to say, it's all yours. I'm going to try and climb across. <laughs> Do you want to, like, attach the other side to something? Um, Obviously. Yeah, the rail on this side. I'll, I'll tie it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> that one. All right, dex check for the knot. Sure. Back in my day, we had a use rope skill. Yeah, that's an easy to tie knot. Sure. All right. He tied you a knot. Climb check time. Uh, you want it in the tower? Yes. Why would you ask? I have ranks in climb. Since when? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> right. Are you putting? So what's your what's offense. what's your method of climbing across? Uh, hand over hand as you hang dangle from it? Are you doing like a reverse monkey crawl, like with uh, um, with your so hands I'm up lying. and your legs on it, shimmying? Lying on top of the rope with my arms in front of me pulling down towards my chest with um, one leg dangling, the other ankle hooked over the rope. Okay. You uh, are able to cross without any problems at all. In fact, he made this look extremely easily. Woo! You guys should have no problems. Um, I'm going to set up the rest of my climbing gear so we got two ropes for, them to, for people to go across. Mm-hmm. And I can even pull them across if they hold on to the other rope. Wow. <laughs> so that'll just take another, uh, whoever's next, that's going to be a climb check. So give me one sec here. Um, Gamble's going to go ahead and uh, take his take his vest off because it makes him a little harder to move. <laughs> good because idea. Because that, that minus four to my freaking <laughs> climb check is not good. <laughs> Mind you hand it to Fatal. I'm just like stuffing Stow it. In my backpack. Yeah, that like, works. Yeah, but you know, it just it's a lot easier to move without it on. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna give myself. I don't have any ranks in climb, so I'm just gonna give myself a plus four to counteract the uh, the negative four when I do my check. Tower. Two ranks in climb. I'm gonna do the same thing that triage did. 
Okay, and you guys can see the uh, the ropes drawn on there, no problem? Yep. Yeah, so mm -hmm. All right, cool. Do, do I make it? <laughs> so I'm checking. I'm, 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 I'm moving my layers here. Make make it. <laughs> All right, so uh, Gamble gets on there. He, he tries to steady himself with both ropes, and he's going across at about halfway. I need you to give me a reflex save. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, point. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> Smart. You're learning. Hey, there we go. All right. Keep that high roll thing going. Woo! Oh, good God. So <laughs> your legs slip off, um, and you're hanging by both arms, but you're able to keep your grip. Uh, oh God! Another climb. <laughs> I... Another climb. Okay. Another climb, please. Um, I'm gonna action point it again because <laughs> we just leveled up, and I got plenty to burn. <laughs> oh, <that's weird. laughs> oh my gosh! I got one sec. Plus oh, I am system. And plus four because I took my armor off. Yoink. Yoinks. I meant to roll that, oh. but not 20? That's, a, that's the bluff <laughs> skill. Oh, god damn it. Ah, you, ma you made everyone think that you crossed without actually crossing, <laughs> and I am pretty amazed with that, I'm but really unfortunately good, you're man. still there. Hang on. If that was a climb... Oh, no, that would be the same of that. Alright. You may cross the chasm of death. <gasps> oh, god. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go vomit now. <laughs> um, make sure nothing sneaks up behind me. Yeah, I'm putting my armor back on too. <laughs> Good. All right, I guess I'm next. Bye, Abel. Climb check in the tower. You put ranks in it this time because I can't climb a fence, so. <laughs> Or a generator. Dead hand, you were able to shimmy across no problem. Nice. And so fatal, they all the three of them uh, just give you expectant faces as you were the last to attempt this crossing. Gable's dry heaving over the edge. It <laughs> is close. There's a couple of wobbly moments, but he uh, fatal is able to make it. Uh, to the other side safely. Oh. High fives all around. And you find Here's yourself... <laughs> and you find yourself in a five-by-five five, uh, chamber with uh, carpeting on the ground and another portcullis that blocks your way into another five-by-five five chamber. This one showing uh, a pair of elevator doors and a normal wow. door. Can we just blow this one up? Next to the portcullis, of course, is a uh, a little um, power, a little uh, card reader. I assume it's off. That's as, right. As the uh, the the, the um, breaker box in this place is probably likely flipped. Uh, yeah, there's no power, and it's on the right side. Uh, I'm going to try to use my battery system to see if I can get a signal. I don't know if there'll be enough to open the door, unlock it, but I'll try. Maybe it's hydraulic. I don't know. All right, go ahead. I got a battery. It doesn't work. So you want disabled device, or do you want... What do you want? Um, hold on a moment. You can, set, you can also just straight up, that's not going to work. That's cool, too, if you don't want me to roll a bunch of stuff. Well, uh, you try it out, and you find that even though you're able to get some power to the card reader, the card reader doesn't seem to um, be able to... You don't have any way of powering the mechanism that will raise... Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I'll, yeah. It was worth a try. I'm just trying right, to find I guess we're going something. in the hard way, guys. Well... <clears throat> I'm trying to find a, um, a prop for you guys that I told you that you'd had last time, and I made it since then. I'm going to hand a... Th Thermite grenade it's... to uh, dead hand and say, can you take this apart? We could probably use this to melt the bottom of the bars. 
or I can just blow it up. But I nothing doesn't sound like a bad idea. But for making less of this. Thermite. Uh, got the thermite and uh, tell you guys all to stand back. <laughs> I mean, for Jace to do his thing, where he's doing. Oh, there it is. Blender lab on a napkin. Yeah. There we go. Remember, Christopher drew you out a, a quick version of that place, and he wrote notes on it for you. There you go. Yeah, he was a ruler for those straight lines. Mm-hmm. He's no, Russian. He, he's Russian. No, half yeah, fair. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So Dead Hand has gone ahead and placed his explosive. Uh, that's going to require yeah. a demolitions check. Oh, of course it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, this is a thermite grenade, you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, so all I'm trying to do is melt the bars. Yeah, and also, uh, what's the range? The radius? Yeah. Uh, thermite grenade, let me check. While you're checking that, I'm going to refresh my coffee real quick. BRB. Back two jiggles of a jackrabbit's ass. First radius is five feet on a thermite grenade. Correct. I'm still standing back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to enjoy the fireworks, not sitting in pain. I mean, if you want fireworks, you put thermite on ice. Ooh. Anybody got ice? <laughs> I think they did it in Mythbusters. It was amazing. So either that room on the napkin in the southern south western part of the west area either says ai or it's full of steak sauce it says ai just because so how much of the room's on fire um five feet five feet okay so it's a five foot five. it's a five by five so a ten foot area ten foot area yeah all right go ahead and uh take your positions and make that happen with some damage uh roll the damage for that in the uh the chat what's course. the damage i have no idea 6d6 oh boy ain't that some damage <laughs> right. uh, minus five on that so deduct five for the toughness can i get a custom number i do this you can add you can, no just just do the 5d6 or whatever it wants and then add an extra d6 to it or whatever you know Man, that was a crappy ass roll. Yeah, that wasn't a great roll. Um, in fact, it uh, it did some damage, but not enough to remove the bars. Uh, it's uh, it looks like uh, they are super nice and and hot. The whole area has been burnt very crisply, but uh, but the portcullis is still intact. You got another one of those. I do. I'll just fire it from my grenade launcher. Maybe that one was like a dud. <laughs> Maybe it was. I like I like what Fatal just did. He's like, I am going to back out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pop. Bye. Yeah, you guys were able to burn a hole into uh, some of this area here. Uh, on the, you guys got to here, I'll burn a hole now. And the portcullis has a nice little hole that you can crawl through. It's good all five foot. Right in the center of that. That's perfect. You have to crouch to get through. And the bars are, are red hot. From the parts that uh, that were closest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a second before I go through. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, once once they're no longer red hot and just you know, boiling to the touch might be safer. Mm -hmm. 
see, it turns it from a, just a doorway uh, into a doorway that you'd probably have to do like a dex check to get through while it's still hot, just so you don't touch the edges. <laughs> I'll I'll do the dex check. Yeah, of course you do. Give me that dex check in the dice. Oh, yeah. uh, give it in the public thing. Let everyone see how good your jumping is. Uh, dex check or reflex save? Uh, give me that reflex save, really. Since for some reason I like to use the two synonymously. You leap through the bars as, a, as, uh, as the, the ends smolder around you and you roll to the other side. No problem. Look at you guys. So, uh, triage, as you find yourself on the other side here, there is a closed door to your right and a pair of closed elevator doors to your left. I'm going to leave the doors alone until everyone else is on this side. You do read on the door, to the single door to your left, that says in um, French, uh, stairway. Ah. Uh, I'm going to step through. Stairwell. All right. Go ahead and step through. It's cool enough for you guys. All since right. you guys weren't weren't being like, yo, I want to jump through while it's hot too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you guys find yourself at the end of this uh, this little hallway corridor area on the northern side of the, cha- the, uh, the pit area. And of course there is the double doors. The double doors to your left or to your right, depends on where you're facing. And then, of course, there's the stairway doors. Do the double doors say anything? Uh, they say elevator. Oh. Elevator. Can I open them? Um, with a little bit of force. Give me a strength yeah, check. Yeah, I'll go to that. And they're like, what are you doing? Just taking a look. The doors uh, do not open for you. All right. I'm going to leave them alone. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, uh, Fatal, did you open those doors a moment ago? Did that... Yeah, opened them, locked out, and then closed them. Okay, so tell tell, tell them what you saw down there. Stairwell. That's it. <laughs> I didn't look past that. Figured any baboons would be now looking through the door now, so I'm not gonna look through that again. <sighs> Gamble goes and opens the door. All right, it's, there's stairs. Let's, let's let's just go. They descend down into darkness. I'll go second. We... Okay. <laughs> All right, leave you guys right there, and. Like we're all still spinning. <laughs> Look, mom, spinning. I'm spinning. Yeah. Whoa. It got dark. Mom got dark. It, it was her humor. I'm talking about your mom's humor. Why did I disappear? Because you suck. Oh man. Why do you think you disappeared? Oh, Give me a moment as I transition you guys to the next map, El Mapadore. All right, I can close that. And I'll be right back while you do that. Okay. Now, who was first down the stairs was Gamble. Mm-hmm. What, puppy? This thing probably has everything locked as well, so let's unlock the tokens. Hey, wow, imagine that. Wait. Are you what? Okay, I think we're in the right spot. All right. Mm-hmm. There we go. View, sync. Hey, stairs. All right. Opening door. 
Yay. The door opens with an ease of a push bar. Fantastic. As oh. you come out into a slightly different shaped hallway. Corpse pile. All right. <clears throat> oh, wonderful. So yeah, there seems to be body parts. Uh, some guy seem, is ripped in half uh, at this portcullis. And uh, beyond him, you guys see an old backpack on the ground in the middle of the, Ooh, uh, the, the next hallway past this portcullis. Clear first, then loot. Yeah. Uh, those elevator doors are all closed, right? Yeah, they are closed. Correct. Is this portcullis open good, good. to it? this one up too. You're going to have to blow this one up too. Oh, but I hate blowing stuff up. Just going to be like, dead hand, do your thing. Just uh, fuck it around and just do this the easy way. C4 okay. time. Why didn't he bring C4. a sawzall? Huh? Why didn't you bring I... your your sawzall? Because that takes too long, dude. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Demolition strike. Good enough. <laughs> it's just like, almost impossible for you to fail that. <laughs> 46. Much Boom. better. Much better, own. yeah. <laughs> I, I know my own C4. You guys have a hole. Did anything come crawling out of that pile? That's a damn good question. <laughs> and uh, you guys are examining this pile... And uh, so far, you just see a bunch of rubble that, uh, from the ceiling that has collapsed, and nothing is crawling out of the bodies. In fact, uh, this uh, dead researcher here uh, looks like they've been dead for a, quite some time. Probably about three months or so. Mm-hmm. By the smell of it. We can't get it. Now, purple and white stuff is the, uh, the ceiling bits from the low, or... The yellow, I'm sorry? The stuff to uh, my left, that's all like white and purplish and whatnot. Yes, that is a that is the collapsed, uh, um, the, the, the collapsed ceiling here. All right, let's just make sure it wasn't an egg of some kind or mm -hmm. some shit like that. Fair enough. <laughs> I, appreciate, I, I appreciate you asking questions to confirm. I sometimes <laughs> take it for granted that we all share the same brain, so I appreciate you. So this area here is a hallway. You can see that there is a variety of, uh, well, a couple of uh, drink machines and a snack machine. Um, there are a couple of break table style areas here. And then there is these other portcullises that have been jammed down. Uh, these are particularly, uh, these look like they are three times the strength based on uh, the size of the bars. Uh, these look like they've probably have been um, put into place these like drop in these are the type of things that drop into place when this place um blew its fuse so like when you guys got the power going uh whatever was going on in this this particular facility uh suddenly all the power started all at once uh these things got triggered and shut and also the fuse uh fuse box blew or the breakers tripped whichever and um so now this is the situation. It's some sort of weird security Yeah, it keeps thing. the things in quarantine, even mm -hmm. though there's no quarantine. Exactly, exactly. Now, uh, you can see that there are a couple of doorways here in the room, uh, this sort of room area uh, to your north. There's doors to the south. The, the door directly to the south of triage uh, says uh, oxygen. Uh, the Ooh. Just uh, beneath uh, gamble, the door there is... Uh, is missing or does seem to be no door there why okay i missed a door in my genius uh, hold on a second here ridiculi all right line of sight yeah there's just no door there okay hey there's no door there uh the door there it has <laughs> is is open and it seems to be a bathroom are you able to see down to that area there at the bathroom. No problem. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I was like looking on my map. It's usually when you mouse over something, it shows, you know, the open close thing that I think it shows for you guys. All right. I'm going to try this door. Is it locked? Uh, this door is unlocked. 
and you find yourself in some sort of um, medical examination room. Uh, there is a carcass of a small creature um, on the table. There's another Point door. Man. <laughs> oh. Too, af too afraid to walk in yourself there, Dead End? No, but that's your job. Uh, can I correct yourself to yes? You come in, you find yourself uh, in like a little, um, a little operating room, a little, you know, very sterile that... clinical place, but it's just got some old experiment cut open. Is that, is that like a glass door? What is this? Okay, so the thing to your right is a large, uh, heavy duty, um, like, um, like plexi, like, screen of some sort it's basically like uh an observation window that's what the word is can i do like some sort of knowledge check to see if it's blastable yeah give me a knowledge check uh, uh d -d 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 i guess physical sciences that'll work i mean there is a door to your north i mean yes there is he's doing science also... god damn it he also is he's, he's curious about this thing you find yeah. you you have read in um, in popular sci magazine that about this particular type of uh, of like it's basically super tough glass that you can't bust through very easily. Yeah. It's um it is however uh, weak against acid, um, but other than that, it's it's resistant to like blast and bullets uh, and stuff like that. Until, like, you know, you weaken it with, like, an acid or something like that. I say out loud, man, security here is tight. I mean, you've seen the awful things on this island. Wouldn't you keep them contained? Yeah. Gamble says as he, he steps into this room. Now, hold on a second here. I want to explain the situation that you find yourself in, yeah? Lots um, of little rooms with blood and corpses in them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You were in a kennel. Looks so, like these are the bodies of uh, dead monkey critters. Lots and lots of dead monkey critters. It looks like these were eaten in their cages, but the bars are still in place. Fuck. Uh, Either it's something small, or it's something that we don't want to fucking deal with. Well, we, we want to deal with something that. small that can do that? <laughs> Now, Deadhand, what's going on with this window? I see that something busted through it, so now I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, this window is has has a hole busted through it. All right, guys, whatever busted through that window is really, really bad news. Yeah, the uh, the particles of glass that are on the ground uh, look like they've been um, heated or bubbled somehow. They they look. Oh, well, okay. Damage. Yeah, we'll to a sigh and be like. And what else is new? Can we walk through it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <Like. laughs> just a little, little jaded. Just just a wee bit jaded. Just a little jaded here. So again, uh, you find yourself, uh, you know, wandering around in this place. There's more bars to the north. Exp signs of some sort of explosion. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, there is a door. Is it locked? It is unlocked. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. And the smell, of course, of a, of a, some sort of carcass that sails your you're used to it by now at this point, unfortunately. Just the smell <laughs> of death. It's a smell he's never getting out of his nose. <laughs> yeah. If Dead Hand ever spent time on a farm, you know, he's smelled this before. He's used to it. It's not something you really grow used to, so to speak, but... You know. Yeah, tolerant. Yeah, so there's this large uh, wolf creature. It's just a gigantic uh, looking wolf. Um, it it might be it. It's hard to tell after this point with the state of uh, of rot, but it could have been the thing that you blew its knee off in the other place. And these are uh, uh, normal sized uh, dogs. They may have all been smart dogs. They all might have been uh, Ziggies. Who knows what they were. And a triage hey guys, here. has a door he can just walk through. He doesn't ask before he opens doors. I don't appreciate that. But he is not wrong. The door is unlocked. 
And to the south, you guys, you find that the um, the the gate has um, it, it's not completely down on the ground. In fact, it looks like it's you know it comes down from the ceiling, <clears throat> and there is rubble on the ground from again this the collapsed ceiling, and a large boulder of uh, concrete is uh, jammed underneath this thing. So you guys can crawl beneath this uh, to the south, no problem. What on earth is that? Now, hold on a second, because... Hey, can you slow down a little bit there, Joel? Or yeah, let me, like, you know, do my job. Uh, go ahead. Because uh, as you're busy worrying about that, you're being watched. Oh, no. And so there's some sort of dead creature in the, the thing above. It's similar to that thing that you saw across the, from the mister. But now there's a child. A, uh, a young teenage child. Dark skin, shaved head. Black eyes. And there is a small fire um, burning in the middle of this room. Um, it's, just, just, it's just a flame burning on nothing. It, uh, there's a metal grate beneath it. There is a pile of bones to the south corner, the southeast corner. There's a pile of books and pages just next to the pile of bones. And the child is just standing there wearing a medical uh, garb, uh, like apron, uh, uh, standing next to his or her, um, basically like their little backpack. Uh, no, a bed bedroll thing here. Great. He's not going to say anything. He's going to slowly walk down this way. <laughs> no. Do, 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 do. Just don't even want to talk to it. Like, nope. Just... Should we uh, crawl under? Don't have much choice, do we? Need <laughs> uh, a check. Um. Yeah, hold on a second. Before you do that. All right. Fair enough. I need to uh, fix a fix. I'm just gonna casually mention to the others. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the uh, the door behind that one was open. Yep. Don't even want to think about it too much, but yep. And then, bum, 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 bum. and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. And then... Okay. Give me a an escape artist check to make it underneath. Ooh. Hmm. I haven't used that skill in a long time. <clears throat> yep. Not much better. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, <clears throat> so, uh, Gamble and Triage, you guys get caught underneath a little bit, and, uh, Fatal, uh, you're able to shimmy underneath prom. Uh, back. And keeping their packs covered. Good idea. I'm gonna try again. Yep, same. 
Can I help them by trying to pull them through? Uh, you're going to need to help Gamble because he's getting wedged under for some reason. Yeah, I'm pulling. Armor, man. Mm-hmm. So give me a strength check from Fatal. Slow down, Cryage. All right, um, and Gamble, go ahead and try your uh, escape, art, uh, escape artist check again. I'm going to give you a plus four to this roll. Woo! That, that, that balances out my armor degradation a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> like a newly born baby, you pop out of the, the, the tight space. Screaming and slimy. Screaming and slimy. All right. Dead hand. Escape Artisto. <laughs> Something eats that hand. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So stop. Hammer time. What? What? Did... Well, I'll tell you what. But first, nope. a word from our sponsor. Uh, Someone's arriving at home, so noise might happen. All right, so what happened is this weird, fleshy thing just came out of the darkness to triage <laughs> triage's left. And uh, it came out of this little offish niche there, and it, it slumped to the ground, and then it, it was like very fleshy and wet looking. Sort of like if someone stuck a piece of chewed gum on the end of flesh-colored spaghetti, but then made it like the size of a duffel bag, and now it's just being pulled back into the darkness. Oh, God. Roll initiative. Oh, boy. Crap. Yikes. Okay, fatal. Uh, let's get this down to here. We'll get you here. It is Fatal's turn now. Fatal. Uh, yeah, you saw this weird, weird attack. Maybe, maybe it was trying to shake his hand. You don't know. Something was there, and now it's not. It's dragged. But you can see like this, this sort of like acidic burn in the ground as a slime trail is left behind. Oh, God. Uh, look at that. You just look in that direction. Okay. Aim my gun to use the dead aim ability and then ready in action if anything comes through to fire in it. Okay. Dead hand. Did I notice? Uh, you were too busy, like, squeezing on through, but you heard it. You heard something. And everyone's, like, weirded out. I'm going to do a move action to here. Notice anything yet? I don't know. Have you? Uh, I'm going to look for a spot check. All right. Includes looking up. <laughs> uh, you see a, a string of slime on the ground, and I will draw that onto the thing here momentarily. Um, and then I do one of the else. Uh, like that, yeah. Gross. Yep. Oh, it's my turn. All right. Come on. <laughs> Gonna 
<laughs> go get a point man. Okay, point man. <laughs> Ignore the dead horse in the chamber above you. I mean, what, is anybody surprised? <laughs> like, come on. The dead horse will only attack if you pay attention to it. His name is Mr. <laughs> dead. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to move up across the slime line and go. And I'm going to do a spot check, too. Okay. See if I see thing with jiggers. Right. Huh. Yorp. 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 You don't see anything. It seems to be very Fantastic. gloomy and it appears to be a series of office cubicles. Fantastic. But you do have no problem seeing where the slime dragged into. <laughs> Fantastic. Carry on, triage. <laughs> triage is going to take a five foot step over here. Seeing nothing at a glance, triage is going to react in a triage like fashion. The high pitched girlish scream again? Uh, no, not that one. The other one. I load a oh, pooping void foster grenade and launch it right toward the end of that uh, acid stream. Okay. So. There. Okay. And. B to 10. You beat a 10. My God. And let's see here. It needs to do its thing. All right. Uh, in the flames, you can see this creature. Oh, God. It's a wart covered. <laughs> Dual barrel roll? It's a wart covered toad with <laughs> nippled breasts. <laughs> what? Yeah, this thing has nipples. This is a large wart covered toad. With nippled breasts and I love large. How we use the whole grenade on a toad. It's a large toad. It's, Thank you very yeah, much. It's also, go ahead and redrop your uh, damage on that directly, since it's full damage. Yeah, it missed. Or it, it missed its save. Oh yeah. Oh, partially resisted. It croaks angrily. Oh, well, that's fatal. The most horrifying thing I've seen on this island. But, uh... <laughs> hey, <laughs> fatal! Definitely like top ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nipples. Wait, I can see it. And that means it's it's baby suckle on its nipples. I'm going to take a double tap with the 50 cal because I don't like to look at that thing. You move more than a five foot step, so you only took one shot. You can still use double tap. Action, you can though. still do double tap. Oh, yeah, double tap. Fine. Yeah, what he said. We're good. Danger facing, fatal. Nice. Fucking crit, mate. <laughs> Look at you. So many D12s. God. That seemed to have done a lot of damage to this thing. It doesn't seem at all happy as blood is spurting from its wounds. Go ahead, pass your turn, Fatal. I haven't seen anything, so I'm going to move here. It's okay, it's just a frog. I don't know why I'm moving. I still can't see it. 
And uh, I guess I'm going to wait and look cover our back. Sure. Sure. That's great. Just to see if something worse comes out. Yeah. Fantastic. Take a five foot step backwards here. And we're going to shoot it. Mm. Oh, really? Nice. You hit it in one of its nipple breasts. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. And because I did a five foot step, I get to shoot again. Woohoo! Right. Not, not taking any chances. You know, I'm just. <clears throat> Fuck the horrific, awful things in this island. <laughs> it collapses in a horrible, smelly, sulfuric heap. On fire. Fantastic. <sighs> Campbell just visibly shudders. Like, oh. well, I'll still take that one with the spiders. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> and it went down so easily. <laughs> fatal. Shh, come on. <laughs> you, you find yourself uh, staring down into a darkened uh, office area. Fantastic. As, you walk, you, past, you, as you walk past the, the, uh, the, the carcass of this critter, you definitely smelling like sort of acidic fumes coming up from its corpse. Hmm. But uh, beyond that, you are free to move about this area. As you see, it just seems to be a series of office areas, um, each with its own copy machine. They must have had a great deal with Xerox or something. Fuck all and nothing in here. All right. Yep. Dead computers, smelly leather chairs, trash cans full of refuse. Giant frog. Is this locked? Is this locked? It is locked. However, there's a window right next to it. Oh. I'm going to unlock the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going through a window. I'm unlocking the door. Fire. <laughs> Fatal has no I'll problem through climbing that. through the window. On the ground are I'm a couple of corpses. That. The one directly at Fatal's feet is uh, missing the lower half of its body. And opening the door... <laughs> You find some sort of monkey creature dead on the floor in addition to the the corpses about. Hmm. Uh, this uh, room seems to have been some sort of uh, a place where they kept research notes and things like that. Um, perhaps it was the uh, the team leader for this division's uh, personal office. There is uh, I a... I think it... I'm mean, going to use a search check and okay. take some time to see if I can find any information okay. about anything. It looks uh, like the papers at your foot, uh, there's a there's, there's all sorts of refuse at your foot, and it looks like this place has been ransacked to the nines. I'm just looking to see if there's any information of what's happening around us. Okay. If there's nothing, there's nothing. I'm not, I'm not looking. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, trying, I'm trying to find bug stuff. I'm trying to find... Yeah, you're finding that uh, it seems to, you know, that there's a... You're, you're in the midst of uh, people's research projects where the results of different chemicals applied to these animals. Also, there's genetic uh, recombination elements to their experiments that are held in a different area. Um, but you know that there is, um, on this floor, it mentions that there is a, uh, a chemical storage uh, room. Does it risk a location? At least we're on the right floor, but not in the right space. Yeah, it just mentions that it's in the chemical holding uh, chamber. And it lists this, this floor as where it's at. At the end of this hallway, I'm guessing this is like a caved-in roof. Yes, that's a caved-in roof at the end of this hallway. Give me a okay. spot check. Oh, that meant to be in the tower. My bad. All right. There. Uh, one second here. Mm 
All right, so, um, Dead Hand, you see that there's a, a place that you could crawl through the chamber. Uh, this is a collapsed ceiling, but towards the south area of the wall, you can see a, a little area that you can actually possibly crawl through. I, uh, I'm going to attempt it, and I let uh, Gamble know, hey, I'm going to check if this goes anywhere. Fantastic. <laughs> You need an escape artist again? Yeah, give me an escape artist check as you make your way to the west. All right, make yourself all the way through. And you find yourself in an area that is just a not too big, but you can find that there is a door to your south and another one of those gates to the north. Uh, let me check the door. It's locked. Okay, the door lock pops. Uh, I open it. Okay, inside. Inside you find a body uh, just behind the door as you push the door open. Uh, someone had been trying to get out, possibly. They're long dead, though. An adult male, uh, some sort of uh, military gear, and there's a bag of gear on the floor in the in the back. Okay, uh, can I search the guy see if I see anything identified? Um, you find that he has like a patch uh, designating him as island security. Okay. Does he have anything useful on him? Like he's got a name. Key? He's got a plastic name badge that says Marcel. Does it look like it's a badge that uses to open doors? Nope. It's okay. just a little clip-on badge that says Marcel. It's all right. It's... I'm checking that. I'm checking this bag of gear. All right. I'm not wasting any more time with that. So cool. He, so, uh, so are you talking about what you're seeing to the rest of the guys as as you're seeing them, or are you just gonna let them sort of? Oh, I'm about, just checking the bag real quick. Checking out that deer or the dead horse. Because I don't want them being like, "Oh, loot!" And then they all try to crawl through here. Like, <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> we are a bunch of loot. Yeah. Uh, range pack, titanium rings, smartphone, sticky foam sprayer. <laughs> Best. All right. So I said it was a radio, guys. I find I found. Uh, a bag with some loot. Some vials containing different colored liquids. Um, any, any of the good green stuff? We have clear, uh, clear, milky silver, and pale orange. Ooh. Collect them so all. So no, no good green stuff. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to take them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> then have triage chemically analyze them later. Yeah, sure. Or I can do it. I'm, I'm I'm capable. I do deal with chemicals. I don't remember who did it last time. So. I don't know. No matter. Uh, so I'm going to take that. Take that. Take that. Watery beer. I'm um, leaving that there. Candy bar. Canned food. Day pack. Um, deck of playing cards. Derringer. Don't care. Submachine gun. Don't care. What is this? Oh, melee weapon. A sword of the Egyptian oh. gods. Yeah, I think we're an old Egyptian style sword. Huh? Yeah. For some reason, you guys have been popping up. People have been carrying around a bunch of kopeshes. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Well, you know, it, it could be a sign of what's popular. Maybe instead of a Gurkha knife, these guys carry around kopeshes more often than not in this weird timeline. <laughs> 
uh, a titanium ring that I don't know has anything special on it. But it's special, titanium. A special response vest. Ooh, heavy special armor. One. Yeah. Anybody do heavy armor here? Nope. It's medieval area armor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess they just took the best breastplate and made it a uh, tactical. Okay. Uh, tactical vest? Anybody need a tactical vest? Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm already wearing one. So. Okay. I just don't know if anybody else wants it. And a ticket. <clears throat> what kind of or ticket? A concert. What concert? Mm -hmm. Gamble, I need a sound, uh, listen check from you since you're the closest to what possibly could be heard. Oh, great. In the tower, please. Oh. Uh, uh... We're going to need another dead hand. Gamble, you're not sure, but you might have heard the sound of like a, a creaking metal door coming from these chambers to your north from the open, broken area. Is that a broken window, like, above me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, guys, I just pretty sure I just heard a door open, which means it's probably the creepy little bastard up in the hallway. Uh, Is that the only other living thing we hear that would know how to open a door? A giant dead banana on the ground. I'm coming. Yeah, crawl or your is that a roach? That is a dead mantis creature. And... Uh, it is sitting amongst the bones of some sort of wolf creature. Great. Because of course it is. <laughs> Glass shards are, are seem to have uh, basically shrapneled into this mantis thing. Huh. Mm. Just mentally or... realized why the windows are broken. Because they look bubbled and heated out. Guess who plays with fire mentally? Yep. I mean, should we try to go through this area? Well, we don't have any other choice. There's no other way around anything. So. <clears throat> All right. I don't see anything down the hall. And from and and from what Miette has told you, this was the floor that you need to go to to get the thing for uh, Raoul. It's it's believed to be kept in the the chem storage area. The retro mutagen or whatever. Right. All right, I must step through. According to me, yet. Done at the ready. <laughs> Not that it does much good against god awful psychic children, but you know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to call the call back through. Let me get you an escape check. Yeah, we might as well wait for dead hand. So I don't want to be stuck in. I mean, I want to live, but you can just just hear his belt buckle oh. grinding on the floor as he he's stuck. Through. <laughs> you got a hand here. His head and and one of his arms is sticking out about halfway through. Fed all help him. <laughs> oh, dick on it. <laughs> <laughs> Check, right? Strength check, correct. <laughs> All oh, right. Wow. I'll yank his arm off. Yeah, dead hand, go ahead and give yourself a plus four and do yourself an escape artist check once more. Oh, where are you? <laughs> Just... You are really stuck. Jesus Christ. Oh. I say heave on my mark. You think like maybe something is uh, something that you're wearing seems to be caught on something possibly in the rubble. Uh, and you're in a tight area. And if this is the worst place, you could have gotten stuck. Great. Uh, can, I, is there, can I back up? Go ahead and give me an escape artist check. <laughs> I tell I tell uh, Fatal to push. Okay. Push. Yikes. 
So yeah, give me the give push me strength check. first. Strength check first. Okay, he's pushing, but you don't get any bonus. Oh no. You just barely are able to get off of whatever hooked you, and you're able to get back to the other side there. Probably shove your bag through first. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and toss my bag over to. All right. Fatal has your bag, I am assuming. Yes, and then I'm going to try to go through again. Okay, escape artist check. <laughs> and you are able to hey! crawl through. Fantastic. Magical. Yeah, Joel, I'm using the uh, the cave exploration rules <laughs> that we came oh, up with. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Did we? we? Yeah, we worked on some ideas where you're like, where you have to get through like oh. tight spaces and it's all like crawling forward motion and and if you if you keep screwing up you get more and more stuck and it, ele it elevates the uh the dc for getting out that was after we watched uh or i watched uh descent 2 right yeah something like yeah. that right around that time so good times yeah good times gamble triage you guys are standing in a chamber with uh, death about your feet. Fatal is mm -hmm. just about to step into this, and the dead hand, you're slipping your backpack back on and yep. shaking the bad memories of your little claustrophobic moment. Now, as. Um, I'm, I'm more worried about mental fire. Yeah. Gamble, you step into a small corridor. There is a door open directly next to you that leads into the dead horse area. Mm hmm. And there is a slightly open door with the flames, uh, where the flames would have been, but it's all dark. There's no more, no flames in there. The entire chamber is pitch black. Oh, crap. Little fucker's gone. <laughs> uh, we don't know that. Well, he put the fire out. I mean, come on. I'm going to reach over <sighs> and like, push this door open, assuming I can, I can open it. Mm -mm, it doesn't open. The one to your all left. Right. Yeah. No open. I'll try it. It's locked. Unlocky. Unlocky, unlocky, unlocky. All right. I'll cover you from this side. It's Find a heavy-duty lock, but you're able to make short work of it. Yes. Large, okay. oversized bestial creature is dead on the floor in there in a perfectly intact uh, chamber. Mm -hmm. This thing is dead. You know, guys, I get the feeling this kid has been eating very well. I'm gonna do the thing I really don't want to do and peer in the door here. All right. <laughs> As you peer into the door, you see that there is a uh, small stack of books uh, organized in the upper corner next to the bed. Mm -hmm. No little bastard, though. Right? You don't see any little bastard in there now. Alright, yeah, he's gone. And I'm not going in there to touch his stuff or make him think I touched his stuff because I don't <laughs> want mine fire. <laughs> At the end of the hallway, um, you find a, a pair of double doors and an, as you pass two more cell chamber doors that are both closed as well. Just not going to bother opening them right now. So far, it's been a bunch of corpses where this kid has been eating very well for the last couple of months. These oh. double doors are unlocked. Fantastic. And you find yourself in a um, northern hallway. An exploded area to the left and far to the right. And uh, looks like someone had a good time in here. War, some sort of battle. All right, stop. Gamble. Yeah. As you step towards this exploded area to take a look down into the gate, and something happens. Great. Mind fire? No, not mind fire, silly. Okay. Fantastic. I don't know he's talking like me yet. <laughs> Which is probably not a thing. Let's just be fair. Never a good thing. You hear this vomitous, vomitous sound. <laughs> wow. Mm. 
that's crazy. All right, so this uh, <laughs> this work covered toad with nipples missed <laughs> so hard. Um, but it, it reels its, uh, it, it, it's okay. So what's looks like it's happening as you got a good look at what's sort of happening. It's like, it looks like it has a tongue, right? You know, a toad sticking its tongue out, but instead of it being a tongue, it's got way more veins in it. And it has what looks to be like a stomach on the end of it. So it basically oh. like threw up its, its own stomach at you. And, it, like and it's fast. and it's reeled his stomach back in. Fantastic. Roll initiative. That would explain. Yeah. Cool. That's just the right level of. Actually, yeah. let's clear the old initiative. Because all the um, yeah, just roll a new initiative. It'll it'll redo it, I guess. Everyone. Yeah. <gasps> I have an initiative. Balls. Nice. So, Fatal, you were in this room here um, as you're just passing behind Dead Hand, and uh, you don't know uh, anything's uh, a problem. Would you like to continue forward in your mo forward motion? Yeah. So I'm just going to take a free or five foot step behind Dead Hand and then end my turn. Okay. <laughs> Do you tell Dead Hand to hurry up? Yeah. Good role playing. I like that. I'm uh, trying not uh, to fix. So, triage. Where you're at, uh, something so is... Yes. Another frog, I shout. And it and has then, nipples. Uh, more nipples. And then I open fire with two double taps. Pap, pap. You hit the work covered toad with nippled breasts. Twice. Twice. And then I take a five step back. Yeah, you made it angry. <clears throat> hey, dead hand, there's gunfire happening. You just heard a couple, uh, four shots. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, I'm going to double move. That's three, six. To here. Wait. And first of all, face them, and then end my turn. <laughs> I can't do anything else. And I go, oh, God. Because I didn't see the first one, so now I'm like, ugh. Oh, uh, it's right. Uh, well, my turn. There it is. This thing goes... <laughs> and pukes its guts up. At Gamble. One more time. Oh. It misses. And it reels its guts back in. And it hops forward. Fantastic. Take a five foot step. Oh, it's not quite my turn yet. Gotta wait for the toad to pass his turn. And it technically comes into range of you for an attack of opportunity if you'd like to do that oh yes i would fantastic um i can shoot it for an attack of opportunity, you may not right? shoot it it has to be a melee attack for that. um Get unless he has reach he doesn't threaten it he doesn't yeah you're right nope. it's a little bit far okay it is okay. a large creature though it just uh it just isn't quite the other. All right, fair enough. Your turn. Okay, fantastic. Take a five foot step backwards, and go on a double tap it twice. A double tap. Technically, you don't even have to take that five foot step because you got close combat. Yeah, I still want to take it anyway. Yeah. Woo. Principle. One hit. to hit. Fantastic. It's dying. Hooray. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it seems to be bleeding to death. Yay. And then it and lays I never like when I pass unconscious. my turn. I never like when I pass my turn, it doesn't go to the top of the initiative. 
<laughs> well, initiative is over. <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure? <laughs> For now. You guys hear Fatal? Run down the hallway. <laughs> oh, hey, Fatal, welcome to the party. Dead toad. <laughs> Guns, oh, okay. gun smoke is in the air as you uh, burst out of the doorway here. As uh, <laughs> as he has no problems with the, the child. And uh, yeah, dead hand. I mean, fatal in the uh, the far corner to the north northwest. You see uh, the dead corpse of another one of those tittied toads. Did did we check the rooms in that hallway? Sure didn't. Check. Most of them. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him a quick spot check because we are looking. Oh, no. All right, he's a lot where the kid was, and we looked in those other ones when we went by because glass windows. This door is locked, a dead hand. It seems to be a, a heavy duty lock. Oh, there's no reason to check that one. Can you see it from where you're at? We were, that, we were already in that hallway and we looked in the window. The windows are. Okay, how about this one? There, that one we haven't checked. That one okay. is also locked. Padlock. Table device. Do you want that in the tower? No. Nah. Yeah, that was supposed to be way higher. <laughs> uh, the device does not disable. The door is still locked. A curse. Wait, that... Can I try again? You may. Yeah, this lock doesn't seem to want to open. Nah, I say fuck it. And fuck off. <laughs> Maybe it's just one. Maybe it's not just you. Locked. All right, gentlemen, you find yourself in a hallway that reaches from west to east. And as Gamble continues down the hallway, he sees that there is a doorway. A door at the very end, sort of. But no surprises. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just going to keep tapping it until Jace tells me to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now, this door here has a security uh, key card uh, access to it. He did hint. Boom, boom. <laughs> uh, I checked the key card thing first. Uh huh. Try to power it, see if I can open it up. Okay. You are able to get power to it and give me a uh, disable device check. You hear a little boop and a lock disengage for the door itself. Whoa. All yours. Thank you. Oh, open door. <laughs> All right. So you come into a um, kind of like a uh, pharmacy storage area. Uh, there is a piece of paper on the floor, and lock. Uh, there are these freezers that uh, mm -hmm. that have chemicals stored on in them. To the left. This, uh, this piece of paper is not openable, sir. Then you open the piece of paper. And. <laughs> may I do that. Whee! Alright. And I'll, um, I'll do this too. That. We'd better order more of the chemical mutagenic retrograde. Moreau has signed up the last three and is planning on using them for an upcoming experiment. We so, needed mutagenic retrograde, didn't we? We did. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Did it say anything else? Nope. Not yet. Ooh, I Two piles of unknown liquid. <laughs> Whoa. Narco True gene? What? Do so, these things have like hazard material sheets with them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. With it? Yeah. 
treatment two. So, uh, role play out a little bit out what you guys are doing for the camera. Uh, I uh, triage rather is going case to case, just taking a look and uh, kind of taking stock of what's in here mm -hmm. and noting the lack of uh, mutagenic retrograde. Signed out for an uh, upcoming experiment. The fatal is just watching the hallway, making sure nothing's coming behind them to heal us all. So I guess there was an experiment, and we need fatal, to find. Fatal, give me a listen experiment. check, please, in the tower. To who? Uh, fatal, give me a oh. listen check in the tower, please. As he is keeping watch on you guys. Okay. Okay, so like I was saying, fine so far. That's it. Yes, huh? dead hand, continue, please. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was like, I don't know if that's a okay, something's gonna happen or okay. All right. So I guess we need to figure out what Doctor Moreau was working on. And there. Yeah, but he's using it for like some experiment, and it might be in this lab. So, uh, we need to figure out some information, I guess. Great. If we still want to do this. I mean, we kind of owe it to Raul a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm all for doing this. Yeah. I'm just saying, that's got to be the game plan. we got to figure out what he... G Gamble's going to pull out the uh, the vials of unknown liquid and hand them to the chemistry guys and be like, hey, you guys should take these and figure out what they are. <laughs> is there, are they labeled on here? It, it says A to Z. Yeah, they should be labeled. There's um, a couple of vials at the end of each one that say unknown liquid. <laughs> so I'm just like, hmm, these ones aren't labeled. Like, here, figure them out. <laughs> Ooh. I grab one of the vials and start trying to color match with the other vials. <laughs> I am I... remedying that situation, I believe. Okay. Uh... This is base is one did something. Oh, mutagenic inducer. Truth serum. Triage is starting to fill his backpack with random vials and chemicals. <laughs> just waiting for them to start breaking open, and hey. they just like make <laughs> this horrific acid in the bottom of his bag. <laughs> in little pockets. <laughs> they uh they told um Koss and Queen um, when they were giving you the rundown on this place told you that. Uh, they fought Mar uh, Maraud in his genetics lab. In his genetics lab? Yeah. Uh, do I have that map open? Yes, we gotta go to all the way back out through this maze. And okay. I'm going to over the, the walkway again. <laughs> to the south. Alright, and we didn't find any files or anything. Special no. dogs. Yes, we just been seeing dogs. Uh, you've kettles. been seeing, you know, these are these are like the the files on the different experiments of, like the alphas and the and the you know the different, you know, this seems to be like where they were doing a lot of monkey, and dog experiments. Yeah, because we're looking for and a horse stuff on, apparently. We're looking for stuff on Einstein, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's still a thing. Yep. Nothing. Uh, nothing here. There's no specimens. If uh, uh, that might be stored somewhere else, okay. perhaps a genetics lab. Perhaps. All right. I guess we need to start making our way back out. <laughs> yep. I guess. Was there anything else that you guys wanted to do, check out, or revisit in this floor? Mm, no. I looked at lock pad locks, but I don't know if you guys want to do that. 
I know we want to avoid the kid. Want to avoid the kid? Yeah. Uh, can I check the unknown vials I found on the backpack and see if I can identify them? Uh, there is a chemical kit here, and between you and triage, you, or you certainly could be able to, to use the tools that are in this room to do that. Okay, Let's I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, like, so let me figure out what, what we're carrying here. Say, while they, uh, while they do their their chemical nerdiness. Campbell's going to just walk out here and just keep an eye on the hallway with Fatal. <laughs> so can this be physical sciences or earth and life sciences? This is physical sciences. No, earth and life sciences. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll do the eight other thing. Uh, what's your earth and life science bonus? <laughs> I say, which one's the pink one? Uh, hold on. <laughs> it looks like it's blank. There's an ampule of cloudy green substance. Uh, so I'm going to start with, hold on, I did pick some up. No, I, I've got, I'm, I'm in, I am in your inventory. Give me okay. rolls and I will continue to... How many rolls do you want me to do here? We're just going to keep doing rolls, and he's going to tell us what we find. Yeah. Damn it. Yep, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> yeah, the, the clear liquids, you're not sure what they are. But you've identified uh, two chemicals as treatment to hypogun ampules. We're also rolling the wrong one. Oh, I rolled behavior sciences. There we go. That's why we didn't get it. No, that's exactly <laughs> right. You're like, I don't understand the sociology behind this. All right. You find concentrated chemical acid and a mi uh, mild uh, acid as well. And give me a couple more. Oh, almost stayed on the 18. You found some truth serum. And the milky silver liquid is something called withstand. Uh -huh. Do we know the properties of withstand? There is a paperwork in the in that room that you're in. Are you able to read the description? Uh, okay. How long is it? There it is. Withstand is a potent pharmaceutical that toughens the subject's flesh and bones, converting any damage the subject takes to non-lethal damage. Withstand's effects are temporary, though, lasting only a one minute. At the end of that period, the subject takes one point of constitution damage due to the stress on his system. Wow. Damn. That, that is some, like, Fallout-style drugs. <laughs> yeah, they're up to some crazy, look at, crazy uh, experiments here. All right. Was I carrying any other vials? <sighs> I mean, we have a bunch of others, but let's uh, find a safer place to do this. All right. I'm going to grab the chemical kit, I guess. I don't know if there's one in this inventory. Interestingly enough, the mutagenic inducer only induces a mutation for five minutes. Temporary third arm? Yeah. If only. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. I... It's five minutes of mutation. Mutations are permanent. <laughs> it takes five minutes to mutate. <laughs> it says to that temporarily mutate the subject. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's not wrong. I'm just reading what it says. I mean, whether it's right or not, you know, I'm not testing it. All right, guys. So, <laughs> um, as you make your way, weaving your way back through. Uh, you're able to get to the stairwell again. 
and ascend safely to the hub floor. Uh, can I grab the old backpack on the way? We forget to check that. Yeah, grab before you leave. Definitely uh, take a look through there and see what you want. There's just more garbage in there. Typical nonsense that we've been finding. <laughs> typical. So typical. <laughs> just like, yep. Okie doke. Take the 9 millimeter. Just put that in. Like, have extra. Yeah, extra ammo is good. That's nonsense. Who needs ammo? I thought our guns generated the ammo on their own. Fantastic. We, we did it? I, I did. Adidas. No. Adidas. Alrighty, gentlemen. <laughs> the hole is very cool. Well, it's warm to the touch now, but is no longer at all remotely in the danger, of course. As you make your way back into the spider room. It's oh, the... God. Uh, point man, you want to go first this time? Climb check. God. Hang on, let me take my vest off again. <laughs> this thing is way too heavy for this shit. I'm going to cover you from here. And hang on. See if I see anything while I'm here. Action point it. God damn. <laughs> Action park it. You made it across. Oh, spot check? That's a nice spot check. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, everything seems pretty good. You don't see anything hiding, triage. You feel very confident oh, about that. Uh, Gamble, oh, go ahead and give me that cl that that uh, that climb check, please. Yeah, more. And... You're all clear, kid. And you. So let's blow this thing and go home. Boink. <laughs> Twenty-five. I'm assuming makes it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> You make this shit look easy. So <laughs> we'll go ahead. All right. Climb a check. A shimmy shimmy, no problem. You get across without any issue whatsoever. Right. Go ahead, dead end. All right. I have way too many things open. Give me a second. Climb, 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 climb. Where you at? Ah, uh, where is climb. it? Crash, crash, crash. I have way too many crafts. There it is. Don't die. Right? It is close, but you make it. All right. Uh, I guess it's my turn. It is. And rolling. There it is. And Whew. you make it across as ass well. All right. To the All south right. we go. Yeah, you cross the middle. To, according to the Russians' map. Where we go now? He's correct. You're just going very slowly because, you know. As you cross slowly, nothing happens. Fantastic. You find yourself in another <sighs> chamber of, what, 20 I'm just gonna, like, Another I'm just going to raise my hand up in the air, like spin my hand around and go, dead end, do your thing. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> C4 demolitions <laughs> track because I'm not throwing in or anything. Mm -hmm. Step back. I love that plus 19 bonus. Yeah. <laughs> just never when you're dealing with explosives all the time, you don't want to fail. All right. And then that is a boom boom. All right. <laughs> so the technical... technical term. That is a terrible oh. boom boom. Uh, one point of damage to the 
to the bolt the bars it, it was a point ego. of damage and your ego I go, huh let me try that again this time i'm gonna set two of them ah ah two two explosives Ooh, c4 charges ah 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 rest in peace my count <laughs> all right step back <laughs> Three C4 charges. Ah, 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 There's ah. one. Good God. There's two. God, I'm rolling terribly for damage. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you are. But thankfully, I'm a kind GM, and after all of that nonsense, you eventually get a hole that you guys can crawl through. Woohoo! A hey, five by high, five section has blown out. Like your mother's rectum. <laughs> Pro lab. This is problematic. There goes the monetization. Just, just, oh, please. As much as I've been swearing this whole time. <laughs> I, I will have you know that despite our uh, occasional potty tongues and crude humor, we are in good standing. It's amazing. <laughs> Hey. Uh, make sure you make sure you don't play ten seconds of a copyrighted song, though. Or, or hum you it, <laughs> or or acapella it, you know, right. uh, or or fart it. I don't know. That'd be pretty impressive. Like That's armpit music, right? That's just ASMR. Sorry. <laughs> so you guys uh, there's are no stairs. Here. There's no stairs there's here. Stairs. There's Is that a... just an elevator? Yeah, it's an elevator door. Crap. Mm. Oh, it was a good try. Let's go. Yeah. Triage, get your crowbar. <laughs> uh, am I the one? No, it's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. The crowbar. <laughs> what is that? A plus four to the uh, the strength check? I think is how that works. For the crowbar. I don't know. Yeah. Plus for I'm sure. I'm going to assist too. Like, you can assist the nine. <laughs> I'll try this Thanks. again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you beat a five for that strength check, so it still works. Oh, nice. All right, so it's a 13. Probably not enough then, right? Is that better? You guys wrench one of the doors open. Is there an elevator car in there? <laughs> It echoes. Is there an elevator car? Is there an elevator? Is there an elevator car? Hey, Triash, want to help me get the ropes back from the other side? Uh, yeah, I guess we don't really need uh, over there anymore. Do you have any other ropes? I have. I mean, that's a two fifteen foot length, so we probably have more than that. I have a hundred and fifty feet of rope. Same. There we. <laughs> do you okay. have it? Do you have it wrapped around your chest? In no. loops. Well, he keeps him in his tactical poncho. <laughs> oh my God, my tactical boots, bro. No, there's just twelve pounds of rope at the bottom of my backpack. <laughs> hey, he, as you guys suggest going over and getting this stuff, he 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 pulls out his rope. <laughs> Yeah, I've been carrying the shit for three days. <laughs> well, at least we get to use it now. He knew it'd come yeah. in handy eventually. It's <laughs> freaking rope, man. No wonder you're so grumpy. It's That's back, it. Back okay, it's going down All right. So, how are you guys <laughs> want to set this up? Uh, tie it off to the bars that are not blown up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good move. Mm -hmm. Give me a, a dex check. Beat a ten. Very good. You tie a very strong knot. It is not going to slip. And uh, you throw the rope down the hole. Who wants to go first? Is there anything else you guys want to do? Like pee down there, throw pebbles, pennies. Oh, go for it. Shout echoing oh. statements. I'll throw it down a glow stick. Ah, oh, good idea. a glow stick. You toss the glow <laughs> stick down the hole, 
and uh, you can see that about uh, 40 feet below is the top of an elevator car and uh, the elevator car roof is right next to where the uh, the glow stick has landed is the hatchway to the roof and you can see that the hatchway is completely open showing that there is a dark elevator car waiting for you down there it's gonna be like oh, yeah, step I, should... Forward. I, was, I was gonna say it's like i should probably go first man i really don't like heights and you do not want me to vomit on you um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unless you really want to go first it's going to require four climb checks to safely Fantastic. reach the bottom. My armor's still off on this, so... <sighs> God, I hate climb checks. I'm not good at this. <laughs> you have action points. Wow. Right. Which you don't need so far. All right. Here comes the next one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's getting smaller. Please He's... don't go lower. Please don't go lower. Please don't go lower. Woof. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh. All right, Gamble. Your boots find the top of the uh, of the elevator. Uh, well, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna lean against the elevator shaft and dry heave a little bit. Like, don't right. mind me. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah, all right. Sure. Very Woo. good. You also find yourself descended to the bottom. <sighs> okay. I guess I'm next. Next. First one. Nice. All right. Each of us has rolled a 20 so far. Nice. Uh, uh, action point. Okay. You did say that before the DM. You are good. <laughs> oh, thank God. You were good. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I shut myself right there. Uh, okay. As as you were climbing down, you slipped and your second hand snatched up and re-grabbed the, the rope just in the nick of time. Oh, shit. And thankfully, because I, I draw your character wearing gloves for some reason, that had no problems for your hands. Nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh-oh. Uh. That being said, you didn't make any progress that last time. You did make... Well, you didn't make progress, but this last time... Uh, let's see. Is this your last? This is your first? Third. Two? Third. Okay. Third. All right. Um, I didn't... Well, we all... Do you want to try another action point? I haven't quite said it's been failed yet, but we all know what the target is. I mean... Otherwise, you were going to be on. falling and taking some fall damage. Uh, I'm probably going to be taking some fall damage. Hey, then roll. <laughs> then roll. Let's see. Uh, hey. oh, yes. Wow. Nice. <laughs> all right, last one. And if I fail this one, I'm not going to do another action. Screw that. All right. You All you have to do is one more. And okay. you've made it to the bottom without falling to <laughs> your death. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fatal. We are. Oh. Well, he's better than I am at it. She, she he scrambles up and down things like a monkey, no problem. And he... All four of us have rolled a natural 20. Look at that. <laughs> Three smart a... 20 on climb checks. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are now all, um, all four of you guys are standing on the roof of an elevator. Uh, down at the bottom of the shaft, the uh, there is a, a chemical smell sort of wafting up from the hatchway 
into the next elevator. It's got sort of like a sort of like a, a clinical and sort of hospital sort of mortuary smell to the place. Who wants to go down Grant, the hole? Right? Or would you like to say look Grant. down into the hole first? Uh, say, does it, Grant, do you have to go right now or do you got time still? It's been two hours. Uh, I need to go very soon, so wrap it up. Okay, so let's get through the elevator then. <laughs> Toss the chemical light stick down into the elevator. All right. And I shall progress you guys to see the next thing here. Um... Uh, and grabbing the characters from... Oh, I don't need that lost child anymore. Or do I? <laughs> Hopefully ignoring that lost child doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. Did <laughs> I <better> ignore it? <laughs> the elevator shaft. <laughs> so, suddenly the elevator shaft lines with mind fire like oh fuck <laughs> while also twisting <laughs> without breaking Gamble starts vomiting but you guys like that <laughs> who's first uh, tell me uh, which order you guys go down into this elevator Gamble first okay. Three hours second. Third hand third. I put my armor back on by the way it lasts Okay. So as you guys uh, drop down into this elevator, you find that the doors themselves are wide open and that the elevator itself is about two feet lower than the opening should be, uh, where it seems to have fallen down here. What the? Oh, there we are. Mm. Whoa. Ah, there we go. That's unpleasant. Outside the room, uh, looking outside, uh, up and out into this hallway, there are crucified figures, three each on the walls, and uh, old, old bloody um, uh, remnants of oct monkeys, octopus creatures laying on the ground. Yeah, the chimptopuses. Great. So, do we want to stop here? Yeah, it's a good place to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, yeah. give me a streetwise check before you guys end the sesh. And did I give you an experience points last week? No. No. Okay. You guys also have a hidden bonus for these. You recognize um, what looks like... Remember when you guys were on the freighter? You were talking to the quartermaster, and he was setting you up your gear, and he was giving you grim patches. Mm -hmm. There was another set of patches there that they were orange, uh, they were yellow and red, and they were written in Russian. And they said Crimson Horizon, for, or Crimson oh, no. Horizon. Uh <coughs> It seems that you found the missing Apocrypha team. Uh, they are crucified to the concrete. Um.